my channel. Um, videos are a little differently. I'm trying to change it up. But um, I'm doing another uh, video only because I have been inspired so much and I have learned a lot in such a short period of time. And um, I always do videos like this when um, I get Gnosis and I evolve and I level up. So this video um, is gonna be about how to empower yourself completely and how to change um, the dynamics within yourself to fully um, accept the change, um, to accept the change that, you, that you're asking for. Some of us are on this path and we do the work and then we don't realize that things happen in our life and it's because we're doing the work and we get kind of sidetracked and we're like, um, is this part of initiation? Is this part of ascension? Yes, everything that happens in this life is part of your journey. Every fucking little thing to the littlest thing is, has an effect on your ascension from your choices. Even from the choices of drinking what you want to drink, it's a choice. It has an effect on this reality, cause and effect. So I have gone through some stuff, um, but um, it's because I have asked for removal of things within myself. Um, I have, you guys know, I've been working with, um, the Sumerian gods and the Sabeti and they are very powerful and they will get shit done quick. That's one thing that I'm noticing about them. Not only do they have the power to help you create, they have the power to help you destroy. Um, I adore them. I adore them very very much i have a split a, a very special bond with the sabeti now um very very intense anyway so i how to empower yourself okay you're on this path because you want to evolve right you you, you want to become a better person you want to become empowered you want to become more you want to have control over the decisions in your life and the effects of those decisions to go your way right that's that's what we fucking do we uh we want things to go our way our will um break it down like this break it down like this what don't you like about yourself you know what don't you like what is that thing that makes you hurt all the time what is that thing that makes you sad all the time? Really, really, really evaluate what is holding you back from growing. Then, the spirit that you're working with, um, you know, you can get them to help you create a sigil. Sigil, 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 bleh, sigil, for that um, intent. Um, and ask them to destroy it. And when you, when, when you ask them, make sure that it's it's a spirit and a, an ancient god that you are familiar with and that you have a bond with, so you can trust trust them. You know, you gotta trust 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 the spirits that you're working with. <laughs> Don't just randomly pick a spirit. Say, huh? Yes, you know, you could, but you're not gonna get that effect because they're not going to. Um, they'll just do it. They'll just they'll do it in a way where. Perhaps if your working your working spirit knows you better and has more of a, a bond with you and affection for you, they might do it in a way that um, is more fitting for you, rather than something aggressively aggressive. Unless you need that aggressive. So yeah, okay. So you want to become powerful. You want things destroyed within yourself because what's destroyed within yourself will be destroyed outside yourself. Okay, outside the reality. Um, the way we see things, our perspective, is because it's in our minds. You know, like, for instance, <clears throat> you know, Malthus here. We perceive, I perceive him one way, you know. And most of us will perceive Malthus this way too. However, there are people that can perceive this to be something else. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Or like, 
Maybe that was a bad example. <laughs> um, okay, let me, let me re refocus here. So I wanted things destroyed within myself. Things that um, hurt me. Things that were holding me back. And I've been working on this for a long time. And now that I look at it, and I, I look back at, um, now I look at, you know, the last six months, the last eight months, um, the destruction wasn't overnight. You guys have to understand something. It could, it could happen overnight, but um, most likely it's going to take some time to destroy things within yourself because it's almost like they do things small and subtle, subtle but powerful. There's times where it's very powerful. Um, and then it happens again, like the same situation will happen again and it will rise again. And you're going through the same shit that you've gone through. And you're like, well, didn't I just go through this? Why am I going through this again? Because you're purging, because it's being surfaced. It's not completely gone. It has to be totally out of your fucking system and your pores. And it's not going to, it's not going to happen overnight. Let's be realistic. There are... There are years and years layered in our, on our, in our soul, in our consciousness of, of why we um, are painting or why we are not doing so, our character defects. It just didn't happen overnight. It took time to make us like what we don't want to be, you know, with um, social conditioning, our parents' philosophies of life, out, just external forces interfering with what really your true will is so you have to get rid of that and sometimes you don't even realize you don't even realize that that's that's not part of you but if you're aware of that it's not part of you that's where the beginning can start and then the spirits can help you purge that shit out and it's not gonna be easy it's not lollipops and rainbows your life has to be destroyed and I'm not talking about losing your house but sometimes it's necessary for some people to get to that extreme because they're very um, arrogant and they don't listen to the spirits. So the spirits try to, to really get their attention or you're just, you know, they're not in tune. So they, they need something more crazy to get the attention of that, that person. Um, remember, these gods are here to help you. They're not here to destroy you. I mean, you, you know what I mean. Um, so, and then... Um, the situation will arise again, just in a different way. Um, and if you are drawn to making the same decisions, you're going to have the same effects. And it, you have to you have to learn how to. That's that's the empowerment part, is when you learn how to react different in that situation, no matter what it is, no matter what it is, and then eventually, it's gone. No, eventually it's gone and it, and then there's the next thing that will happen we are layered we are complex we have many things that we need to purify within ourselves many things it's not just about meditating it's not just about rituals it's about addressing the facts of what you're about what are you putting what, what you need fixed within yourself you can it's like shadow work but deeper shadow work because we need to be destroyed to be rebuilt. You can't, you can't make something better without destroying it. I can, here comes Malthus again. Here's Malthus. Now, this might be a bad example. Let's say I destroy this statue. And then I want to make a better statue. So I'll destroy this beautiful statue. And then I'll re rebuild it better. Adding more gems to it adding adding more stuff to it to make it a bigger beautiful statue oh man that's beautiful then you destroy it again and you add to it it's destroying and adding you're not just destroying and nothing's coming out of it you're destroying yourself to add to be able to accept the new additions to you you know it, I think people are so afraid to address their problems because they don't want to let go of that attachment. They don't know what's going to happen. But no, when you're on um, this, the path, especially the path of the adversary, we are, um, we do everything rebellious and we do everything against the current of, of, this, of this nature of this game of society because society wants to keep you down. They don't want you to evolve. 
we know that because that takes control from them. So my, oh, I got, yeah. So you want to destroy things within yourself, do it. If you're not doing it, you're not growing, you're not ascending, you're just stagnant. So the best thing is if you really, really want something destroyed within yourself, really ask for it and really demand it. You know, don't even ask for it, demand it. It's the way I go about it is, you know, I, when I invoke the spirits, I do try to, I do put on the deific masks and I do become them. When I work with the Sabeti, I am a Sabeti. I'm the eighth Sabeti. So that's how I work with them and I get that respect from them. But that took a little bit because I had, under, that took a little bit because they tested me. They tested me. They will fucking test you. They want to know if you're a pussy, <laughs> if you're afraid. I mean, there's some things that are, that are, you know, but you have to take it. You have to take it. You have to take it. Um, fear is just fear. It's just an instinct for survival. But to remove fear is to grow and um, to look things head on, to look things head on, and to take it, to absorb it. And then you'll learn transmutation. Um, there are, are some very advanced magicians that they don't have to do much, but they're always working. They're always destroying themselves to rebuild themselves. If you take a look at pictures of magicians out there in the last year, two years, and see how they've changed. Look at my videos from last year. I've been on this channel for a year, a year and a couple months. I have fucking changed. My voice has changed. My looks change. Everything changes because I destroy the old Eldoria and I recreate the new, a new Eldoria. I destroy, I create, I destroy, I create. And it becomes a pattern and it becomes a necessity for my survival as, uh, as, as me. So destruction is a must. It's a must. You, if you're not changing, if you're in the same place you were with the same friends and the same, there's okay. It's okay to have the same friends, but you should. What am I trying to say here? Um, I don't have the same friends. I always have new friends. People come in and people come out of my life. There's a handful that stays with me not even but uh because i i change if i change then my my frequency changes and doesn't match those people i'm always changing and it makes sense to me now when i look throughout my life why i never had that group of friends because i i was always changing i was all i was different i never fit in um because i didn't think like them and i was changing so but that's what i'm trying to say you need to buckle your shit down. You want to get things in life. You want to move up in life. It ain't going to be lollipops and rainbows. It's not. It's going to hurt. It's going to pain. You're going to suffer. You're going to suffer. But it's that suffering that actually empowers you. If you can use that suffering as an, as an energy to push, to push, to become better, and it does because it kind of leaves you... It kind of leaves you as like, there's what else am I supposed to do? So I'm forced to make this decision because I don't want to be suffering. It's actually a really good thing if you think about it, if you suffer, because you have two choices. Continue to suffer or change. <laughs> it's simple. So we are very complex. And when you realize that we have emotions to help us, to, to push us, to make us better. That's what emotions really can do for us, is, is empower us and change us from within. Then you understand why emotions, what you're, that the emotions do not control you. You control your emotions and you can use your emotions to push you further in your soul evolution, in your ascension, in your growth. <sighs> this reality is insane. There's insanity in here. However, you do not have to participate in it. You have a choice. You have a freedom of choice. You do not have to participate in, in this insanity. You don't have to become like them. You're not like them. You guys are the blood of Cain. You know, we are the blood of Cain. We are not sheep. 
we know better. We have the we have the black flame flowing through us. There's a reason why you're on this path because you're not a little bitch. You understand that there's something more that you need to do within yourself. So that's um, really what I wanted to say and, and to encourage everybody out there to start to, you need to destroy all the time. If your life is just day to day, nine to five, nothing, and you do rituals here, nothing's happening, nothing's being brought up, you're not doing something right. <laughs> you're not. And that's when you say, destroy something within me. That you need something to happen in your life. All the, you know, I might get a week, week or two, week or two rests of peacefulness, but then shit will happen again because I want it to. I need it to. I need to grow. I need to feed. I need to live. And this is how I live. And, um, yeah. There is no such thing as pure happiness. There is no such thing. People are lying to you if they, if, if they say to you, you're going to live this happy, wonderful life if you work with demons and if you work with the gods. No, you're not. Because that's not what this is about. This is not about belonging, going back to the Garden of Eden. It's not about returning back into mindful blissfulness of just being dumb and happy. and ah, No, no. This is about taking your life into control, but you have to earn it. You have to earn it, and you have to take charge of this matrix. Um, but once you do, once you do, you you get a sense of accomplishment, and you get a reality check, and a, and a sense of peace is within you. You know, we all want peace, and you will get peace because you'll understand that this is kind of a game. This is a game. It's a game of soul evolution. You're either the player or you're the board. You know, I don't even know if that was a good metaphor, but whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, your desires, you have to fight for. You have to fight for what you want in this world. It, it sucks. I'm not gonna lie. It sucks. But you signed up. You signed up to be here. So be here and, and give it give it 110%. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up and don't give up on yourself, people. Really, really get excited because you're you're on this you're you're here doing the work, no matter what. Much love.